everyone, Mr. Bolin here. I sure do miss seeing you guys around the school, but you know what? I'm excited today because it's story time for Harpox and I get to read a book to you today. The title of the book is Crawly Bug and the Firehouse Pie. It was written by Toby Speed and illustrated by Margot Apple. Hawks, this book was written in 1993. It's 2020 right now, so how many years ago was this book written? Be a nice math problem for you to figure out, and when you get the answer, be sure and email your answer to Mrs. Strange, okay? Her email is astrange at estelle.org, and I'm sure she would appreciate your emails. Okay, Crawly Bug and the Firehouse Pie. Let's get started. Crawly Bug crept over the sill and stole a crumb from Mama's hot pie. He carried it back to the nest. Yum, said his dozens of brothers and sisters. They got in line and wriggle jigged over the daisies, under the milkweed, over the crabgrass, under the chicory, up the trellis, and over the sill. One by one they took a crumb, and the pie disappeared. Who took my pie? cried Mama. My very last summertime blackberry pie. My pie for the firehouse cell. She sniffed. A whiff of butter was still in the air. But where? No pie in the oven. No pie in the bread box. No pie in the china closet. No pie on the windowsill. No pie anywhere. Then Mama looked out the window. And who did she see going single file down the trellis, under the chicory, over the crabgrass, under the milkweed, over the daisies and through the yard, dozens and dozens of bugs wriggle jigging, each one holding a crumb. Bop! Mom swapped at them with her mop, but her mop didn't stop them. Mama ran outside and grabbed the rake. She raked ridges in the dirt, but Crawly Bug and his brothers and sisters went up and down, up and down, over the ridges, holding their crumbs. Mama planted her big feet right in the way, but Crawly Bug and her brothers and sisters went left and right, left and right, around Mama's feet, holding their crumbs. Mama flung her apron on the ground, but Crawly Bug and her brothers and sisters went over and under, over and under, through the folds, holding their crumbs. Then Mama lay down in the path. As big as she was, even she couldn't stop Crawly Bug. He and his dozens of brothers and sisters walked right over Mama and kept on going. They went to the end of the yard, and then they went under the fence. Mama got up and shook herself off. I promised a pie for the firehouse cell, she said, so I better bake a new one quick. Mama looked around the yard. She looked for a spot of black or a spot of red that might be a berry. Is that a raspberry under a leaf? No, only a bit of ribbon playing hide and seek. Is that a cranberry next to the gate? No, only a marble that rolled away. Are those wild strawberries wedged in a rock? No, just an old sneaker that went for a walk. Now what? asked Mama. I can't bake another pie. Every last berry on every last bush went into that blackberry pie. Then Mama leaned over the fence. Below her in the tangled vines, the very last bug with the very last crumb was vanishing into a hole. But next to the hole, where she had never looked before, was a fat blackberry bush just covered with fruit. Quickly, Mama filled her apron. Why, there's enough here for three more pies, said Mama. And so she baked three. Two pies she wrapped in hop sacking and huckaback and hid in the chimney flue. The third pie she put in a hat box under a Panama hat. To be safe, she wrote on the outside of the box, not pie. Then Mama tiptoed to the front door. She looked in and out, up and about, but she didn't see Crawly Bug or any of his brothers and sisters. So she ran with the hat box to the end of the lane and up the hill to the firehouse. The other ladies were already there setting up their cakes. Mama looked over her shoulder and under the table, but she didn't see Crawly Bug, so she set her hat box down. Little by little, Mama lifted the cover. She picked up the Panama hat. A gorgeous whiff of blackberry pie spiraled up to her nose. Mmm, Mama smiled. But just then, somebody stepped ever so lightly on her toes. Slowly, very slowly, Mama looked under the table. And who do you think she saw?
crawly bug and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of bugs. They came all the way to the firehouse cell for second helpings all around. So what do you think, Cox? Think about Mama at the end of the story. If you were Mama and you looked down and saw all those bugs waiting for their second helpings, what would you do? What do you think Mama did? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, right? Well, thank you for your time today and joining me for story time for Hard Pots. Again, we really miss you guys. Hope to see you soon. Stay healthy. Take care. Bye. <laughs>